Regardless of how it feels outside, before you know it, summer will soon be gone. That means the kids will be trading in their floaties for pencil and paper. Dr. Timothy Quinn is here with some tips on how to ensure your child's classroom success from a medical standpoint. Dr. Quinn, good to have you with us. Hey, it's good to be here. It, it's true. I was looking at the calendar and realizing that July's, um, you know, uh, we're deep, well, you're not deep into, we're into July. Yeah. And so it's not long before the kids go back to school. What would you say is, uh, is one of the main things to keep in mind for your kids as they transition back into a school environment? Yeah. Well, the thing is you want to take your children to get a physical. You know, it's, it's a very important, before we did the vaccines for the younger children, but right. as they get older, if they're not playing sports, it's not really required, but it's a really good idea. So what if your kids are kind of restless? They get back to school and they, I mean, should we just assume that they're not used to being in school, or how do you know when that's something that needs to be looked at more seriously? Well, the deal is most medical problems can have a slow, progressive presentation, mm -hmm. and because of that, children might not really understand or be able to articulate what's going on. Maybe they can't see the, the whiteboard or they can't see the computer, they mm -hmm. can't hear what the teacher is saying, and they might become restless. So, you know, these things are picked up on these physicals and can help a child do better in school. So if you think a child is just being, uh, uh, I guess if there's bad behavior, mm -hmm. that'd be the first thing to look at because that be, could be a sign of something else like you're talking about that this physical could, uh, could uncover. Right. I mean, these are warning signs. Children might have, have behavioral problems, academic problems. Maybe the child is having some medical issue that he can't articulate. How often should a child have a physical like that? I mean, it's recommended a child have a physical every year as well as an adult because a lot of medical problems, you know, as I said, can be picked up and that child would do better in school. What about folks out there saying, yeah, that'd be great if I could take my child to do this every year, but I can't afford that medical visit every time. What are their options? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, a lot of parents are so surprised when they bring the children for physicals. The insurance companies, Blue Cross, United Healthcare, Medicaid, these physicals are covered at 100% at no out-of-pocket expenses. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, what other advice do you have to, to parents this time of year? Well, you know, the main thing is, you know, get the kids ready for school, have them reading in the summer, keep them busy so that, you know, mm -hmm. they'll be prepared and do well in school. Are you seeing a lot of anything in particular this time of year? Um, we're actually getting a lot of summer colds. You, oh, yeah. you said, you know, <laughs> people are getting sick and, you know, it's, it's un, unusual, but it's happening. The, the bugs are still out there. That is miserable to I be know. afflicted by something like that this time of year. And there yeah. are plenty. Joy Rebin's not feeling all that great this morning is one reason why uh, she's not interviewing you right now. And so well, what do you do when you get a summer cold? I mean, it's, it's I guess the same thing is more expected, I guess, in the wintertime. Right. It just seems worse in the summer because of the, the heat and all. Well, you want to look out for certain things that such as fever. You know, mm -hmm. if you're getting fever, it's a good idea to go ahead and get to the doctor if you just feel miserable. Because as we were talking about before this interview, there are a lot of treatments out there that could be very effective and give you some relief. But you got to go to the doctor so we can get checked out. And if uh, you're not sure what over-the-counter to take, the doctor could always recommend something. That is correct. Too. But it's a good idea to also talk to the pharmacist if you go to the pharmacy because they can make some really good suggestions. And there are a lot of choices out there, and it seems like different things work for different people. So right. we're figuring that out. Dr. Timothy Quinn of Quinn Healthcare, thank you so much for coming on. All right, thank and you. And we will be back with more on the Fox 40 Morning News right after this. Stay with us.